Welcome to this video, my name is Mario Beckham. The video is an introduction to a complete range of videos on many different topics. But all of those topics are under one main subject of image presentation. Presentation techniques can be considered both corrective and also creative, and sometimes they're a little of both. The techniques that we've used in this set of videos can be used for on-screen viewing, but also for print purposes too. Consider just for a moment the importance we place on the presentation of food. Is photography any different? Let me show you one or two examples of the techniques that these videos demonstrate. When an image with dark edges is presented against a dark background, the viewer quite often can't see the edge of the image, and the composition that we've carefully arranged in the image can be upset. If we add fine lines around the edge of an image, it does allow us to define the image boundaries. But these lines mustn't be too strong. This is just a one pixel line in 50% grey, yet it makes the world of difference to our presentation. And it's not hard to find many examples where a fine line helps the presentation. The reverse is also true even when we can see the edge of the image, but maybe the tones outside that edge are similar. Here, a one pixel line in black makes that difference. Here we're looking at the block mount technique, which is very effective. When I've taken large prints using this technique to one of my demonstrations, I've seen people running their fingers over the shadow to feel for the block mount indentation, which of course isn't there. This technique which raises the image from the background works equally well for all images, dark tones or light. This technique which is applied in a similar way to the block mount technique creates the matte border. It gives the impression that a physical frame is sitting above the image. Now there's lots of variations on the basic technique that we can use to suit any image being presented. And just like the block mount effect, at my demonstrations when I've taken images using the technique, I've seen people running their finger over the shadow to feel for that matte effect. One of our videos within this set demonstrates how we can prepare an image for a large canvas wrap print. We need to allow for the wrap to take place, and you can see it here slightly darker than the rest of the image. In the video we look at three techniques for wrapping the image around the edge. We can use the image itself, we can create the wrap in a neutral colour, but one of the best ways in my view particularly if you need to retain good composition with your image, is content aware fill. We take a look at all three. Here we demonstrate how we can use smart guides and clipping groups to lay out multiple images on a canvas. Now we've chosen to demonstrate these techniques using a triptych. It takes only seconds to lay out the artwork, really. And once we have the basic triptych created, then it really is just a few short steps to variations on a theme. And of course, we're not limited to three images. I think everyone's aware of a vignette. But a vignette has a corrective application that's designed not to be directly seen. But it also has a creative one where it is designed to be seen. In my corrective example here, I'm going to switch between a before and after. Only then will you see the vignette and appreciate how it's helping the image. It helps to hold our attention better into the centre of the picture. 
But in this example, of course, the vignette is a creative one and more obvious. In this video, we use the matte effect that we demonstrated earlier. But here we use colors cloned from the image to create delicate gradients that are in harmony with the image we're presenting. Here we take another look at presenting multi-images on a canvas using a presentation technique called Paste Into. We can use this technique to quickly and easily lay out this artwork to present these old World War I images. It's very easily done for a high resolution print for the home or for on-screen viewing. Edge effects are often a great way to present our images and here we demonstrate how we can make them as well as apply them. Now making our own edge effects is far more rewarding than using something others have created and at least we know ours are unique. One of the more popular presentation techniques is our next subject, it's strategic colour. Lots of different ways we can do this but they all amount to a similar sort of technique using Photoshop's layers but I think this technique does require some thought. The technique is basically a simple one. Create the image as a monochrome and allow the colour to come through in just one strategic place. But I think we need the right choice of image and composition is vital. Presenting our images like a jigsaw is also a popular presentation technique. And here we look at a couple of ways to do this. With my country road image I'm going to supply the jigsaw effect in multiple resolutions and numbers of pieces and then demonstrate how we can simply use them as a template to quickly create an image like this. It really is quite a quick process because the whole video demonstrating it is only 17 minutes long. I've also created a second video on this jigsaw topic. I'm going to show you where you can find a Photoshop action online, how to download and import it into Photoshop and then how to use it. It is quite fascinating to watch it create over a hundred separate pieces in a few seconds. Another option we have with presentation is to use textures which are both creative and fun to use. But as always they need a delicate approach and we demonstrate a non-destructive, easily changed way to apply them. We'll also help you to locate some free Photoshop paper textures from the internet. We'll show you where to find them, how to apply them into Photoshop and use them. And they're pretty good too. The breakout technique is another fun presentation method that has lots of uses. The techniques are very much the same for all of them and in our video we demonstrate an image where a simple approach is all we need. But then we take a look at another where we just need a little more work. But the techniques are exactly the same. And of course we could combine this idea with strategic colour. But we have to be just a little careful. We can often let our enthusiasm run away with us. Here's another creative idea that's remarkably simple. Cut up an image then reassemble it into an attractive presentation. Almost any image can be used. I took this young lady's portrait into Photoshop and with the help of Photoshop layers I cut her into pieces and then put her back together again and I'm sure she never felt a thing. The film edges that I used with this picture I'm going to include in a download so please feel free to use them as you wish. There are 17 videos in this presentation set over 5 hours of full screen HD video where the average video length is just about 20 minutes. Learn Photoshop skills and pick up some creative ideas at the same time. If you're watching on YouTube, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the notification bell so you'll be advised whenever I put up 
a new video. In the links below you'll find direct links back to this complete set of videos and more.